get Monster High dolls. All three of these dolls have a physical activity theme. We have physical dead education, Gulia Yelps. She indicates that she will happily share her suggestions for surviving this class. On the back of the box is an illustration of Gulia, as well as a class overview. I really like this, this kind of survival guide book as if Gulia has taken it out of the library. You can also see two other dolls released in this line. We have a Frankie Stein and a Laguna Blue. Next, we have a basketball themed Venus McFly trap. I've actually not opened any version of Venus before, so this is pretty cool. On the back of her box is a lovely illustration of Venus. Unfortunately, there is a rip on the back of my packaging, so I can't quite read what this says, but it does indicate that Venus is the daughter of the plant monster. And some other dolls in this particular line were a two pack of Claudine and Claude in a football and cheerleader, or I should say fear leader theme, and then a Frankie Stein doll with a kind of locker room playset. And then finally we have this Frankie Stein with a bicycle, her bolting bicycle. And on the back of this packaging is some text about Frankie, how she likes to get on her bike and ride around, and an image, not an illustration, of Frankie and the bicycle. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I just wanna point out that Gulia is an older release prior to the Monster High reboot, but I believe Venus and Frankie are post-reboot releases. I will definitely put the years of these releases and all that information on my website and I will link to that below in the description. So here they all are out of the packaging and let's start with the oldest release which is Gulia. So Gulia actually came with a lot uh, starting with some instructions on how to remove limbs, uh, how to assemble the locker and how to put the doll on her doll stand. So she first of course came with this locker which I had to attach the door. It comes with a little skull padlock. Inside the locker is this little hook that actually comes out quite easily. It also has two shelves and is perfect for storing all of her accessories. She has two sheets of stickers to decorate her locker, or you could use them to decorate her physical dead education survival guide, which this page was actually detailed on the back of the packaging. But as you go through, it talks about the course and Gulia's guide to surviving the class. She also comes with this, I think it's a dodgeball. She has a little red and black water bottle with MH for Monster High and that little skull symbol as the handle on the top. She has a notebook and a writing utensil. The notebook, while it has kind of a printed decal on the outside, does not open, but it's really cute. It says, Physical Dead Education, Gulia Yelps, and on the reverse is the Monster High Crest. She has another pair of eyeglasses, these in white frames. She has a dress to change into after class is over. Gulia also comes with this red hairbrush and a matching doll stand. The doll herself is our classic Gulia look. I'll lift her glasses so you can see. Her signature eyes with a muted eyeshadow palette, but with a bold lip color. I love her sports eyeglasses. I love the shape as always, but these are attached with an elastic band around her head because she is in basically gym class. She is wearing little red earrings, which I think if you get really close up, you can see that there is some molded plastic detail of brains. I think these are tiny brains, but from a distance, they just look like red vintage looking earrings. Her hair is her signature color of shades of blue. It's in a side pony with this kind of little, little flipped detail here. She is wearing a t-shirt and shorts for gym class. You can see the t-shirt says Monster High, Fizz Dead. It Velcros in the back. Her shorts are actually one piece even though they look like two layers. 
And again, we've got the little Monster High logo, a faux drawstring, and an elastic waistband. And then her sneakers, really cool looking red, white, and black sneakers. I love the painted detail, this little uh, kind of lightning bolt thing going on here. And she has a matching wristband, or maybe this is a sweatband or something, but it's plastic. All in all, I really like her look. And her second outfit, her little dress is super cute. Love the multiple patterns and the shape and the dress belt crisp in the back and ties around the neck. Now all of these dolls have the same articulation with movement at the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, knee. What you are gonna notice is less and less accessories. So neither Venus nor Frankie come with doll brushes, doll stands, or notebooks. Venus, however, does come with some fun accessories. She has this little green terry cloth towel, I guess for, you know, sweating on the court, playing casket ball. She, of course, has a blue casket ball. I love the details on this casket ball hoop. Open mouth detail on the backboard, it says Monster High. And even this like octopus leg or squid detail at the base, really cool looking. And she also is carrying some kind of drink, which is currently banded to her hands. Venus is her classic green color. She is wearing some cool casket ball themed earrings. Oddly, her ear looks like dirty, which is weird. Or is this like a stain or something? But she's got something going on on this ear, but it is not on this ear. But overall, love the shape of her ears. It's like this little leaf shape. Her hair is neon pinks and greens, and she's got her shaved side, which is like flocked. She's got like a shimmery silver eyeshadow look going on. And a little bit of fang detail on her lips. She's wearing a two-piece outfit. So she's got like a, a short sleeve mesh cropped top and that Velcro's in the back. And that is over a one-piece bodysuit, pink with black polka dots. And that bodysuit also Velcro's in the back. She has black wristbands. They are matching on both wrists with the little skull symbol. And you can also see that molded plastic detail in her hands. It looks like she has leaves and vines going up her arms. And then these are her shoes. Very impractical for playing basketball or basketball. But it looks almost like it's like a leg warmer over a sandal kind of. A spiked heeled sandal. But you can also see the vine detail on her legs. And again, she has the same articulation as Gulia. So all in all, I like her a lot. And then finally we have Frankie, who comes with a bicycle and a helmet, and that's about it. So she's still posed like she is in the packaging, but let me remove her from her bike. So I'm gonna look at the bike first before I show you the doll. The bike has wheels that move, which is really cool. I actually really like the details on this bicycle. So it has the handlebar moves with the wheel. And I really like the detail here. We've got this hand holding the handlebar. We have the black bicycle seat. We've got molded plastic chain detail and the pedals do move. And then we have this kind of doll stand base attached to the seat so that you can balance Frankie on the bike and she'll stay. So overall, I really like the details of this bike. I should point out this decal is actually only on one side. But you know, that doesn't bother me, actually. I really like this bike. However, I am less than thrilled with the doll. I mean, forget that she has helmet hair because she was wearing a helmet. This is her helmet. I do like the molded plastic details of her helmet. It looks pretty cool. What I don't like is the doll herself. Now, a lot of people have problems with the reboot faces. 
I don't have as much of a problem with it as some people. I have reboot dolls and original dolls in my collection, but I do not particularly like this doll. I don't like the fact that her body skin tone doesn't match her face. That's the first thing I noticed. And the second thing I noticed is she does not have the same articulation as the other dolls that I just showed you. She does have movement at the neck, shoulder, and elbow, hip, and knee, but no wrist articulation. What is up with that? Uh, her outfit is cute. I like her little riding a bike outfit. And she's wearing these shoes that we've definitely seen before, except with no paint detail. It's just plain black sneakers. They're cute. I wish they had some paint detail. I uh, also wish the print was on both sides of her outfit, but it's only on one side. It does Velcro in the back. I like the strap detail though. I like how it looks like it's a halter, but it's not. It's like regular straps. I don't know, that's cute. But all in all, really disappointed in the lack of articulation and really not okay with the skin tone not matching her face. It looked like she powdered her face too much with makeup, like her head doesn't match her body. So I just wanna give my final thoughts. Uh, the one I most highly recommend is the Gulia Yelps doll. I think Venus is great. I really enjoy her casket ball theme here. Uh, the one I don't recommend is Frankie but I do like the bike. So it's not like I'm sorry I bought it, I just wouldn't recommend it. But what are your thoughts? Let me know by commenting below.